Not far from the hospital where Tiffany was born lies Mara Lago, her father's lavish estate in Palm Beach, Florida. Trump purchased the 1920 Sarah property in 1985 and spent millions turning it into a palatial retreat. By 1994, just a year after Tiffany's birth, he transformed Mar-a-Lago into an exclusive private club for the ultra-wealthy, complete with over-the-top amenities worthy of a five-star resort. For Tiffany, Mar-a-Lago was a childhood wonderland. The sprawling estate offered endless adventures, massive playgrounds, sparkling pools, tennis courts, and even a golf course. In 1998, for her fifth birthday, Tiffany's party in Mar-a-Lago's Grand Ballroom was nothing short of magical. Dressed as a mermaid, she stood beside a Titanic-themed cake, surrounded by extravagant gifts fit for a princess. But not all was idyllic. By 1999, her parents' marriage ended in divorce. Tiffany's mother, Marla Maples, gained custody, but Tiffany stayed close to her father, spending holidays and vacations at Mar-a-Lago. A Thanksgiving photo from 2000 shows her surrounded by family, including her half-brother Eric, half-sister Ivana, and Ivana's mother. Despite the divorce, Mar-a-Lago remained a cornerstone of Tiffany's life. She loved the estate's annual Easter egg hunts and is often seen in family photos from those occasions. In 2007, she appeared alongside her stepmother, Melania, and her younger half-brother, Baron, enjoying the festivities. Nicknamed Tiff by her loved ones, she was always a cherished member of the Trump family. Though Mar-a-Lago played a starring role in her early years, much of Tiffany's childhood was spent in New York City. Until the age of four, she lived with her parents in the luxurious penthouse atop Trump Tower. The apartment, perched on the 58th floor, was a gilded sanctuary with interiors dripping in 24-karat gold, a testament to Donald Trump's flair for extravagance. From an early age, Tiffany was no stranger to high society. She often joined her parents at glamorous events, from New York Fashion Week to glittering Trump Organization parties, seamlessly stepping into Manhattan's elite social scene. After the divorce, Tiffany moved with her mother, but frequently returned to visit her father at the penthouse. Even as an adult, Tiffany's bond with her family remained strong. A photo from September 2018 shows her in the penthouse's grand living room with her siblings Eric, Ivanka, Lara, and her brother-in-law Jared Kushner, preparing to attend the United Nations General Assembly. The Cherished Gem of the Trump Family while Ivanka Trump is often seen as the polished diamond of the family, constantly in the spotlight, Tiffany Trump is the treasured gem, a symbol of family legacy, carefully protected and allowed to shine on her own terms, just like the name her father lovingly gave her. Far from being the forgotten child, as some critics claim, Tiffany has always been cherished in her own way. Her parents shielded her from the tabloids, giving her a quieter upbringing. Despite his demanding schedule, Donald Trump was always attentive, never missing a call from Tiffany, even if it was just to hear her complain about bad salmon roe in Queens. Meanwhile, her mother, Marla Maples, embraced life as a single mom, raising Tiffany with care and pride. Tiffany's unique role in the Trump family is recognized by everyone, including her siblings and father. To them, she's the family heirloom, someone to cherish and protect. The Ivanka has often praised Tiffany for her confidence, drive, and work ethic. In fact, the Ivanka kept Tiffany out of the spotlight during their father's campaign, stepping in only for a standout speech at the Republican National Convention. Despite not growing up together, Tiffany is close with her four siblings, especially Ivanka and Baron. Marla always encouraged her to see them as family, not half-siblings. Speaking to people, Marla said, Whatever happened between me and her father, I've always wanted Tiffany to have strong relationships with her siblings. I love them all and am incredibly proud of them. They've always been good to Tiffany. 
A 1996 photo of young Tiffany playing with the Ivanka in the Trump Tower penthouse shows how their bond started early. The Ivanka later told People, Tiffany and I always spent holidays together and we talk often. She's my little sister and I love her. Her bond with Baron is equally strong. For his 13th birthday, Tiffany shared a playful photo of them laughing together at the Republican National Convention. A year later, she posted a heartfelt message for his 14th, writing, Happy birthday to the best little brother ever. You mean so much to me, Baron. Love you. Even during her time at Georgetown Law, Tiffany frequently visited the White House to spend time with him. A life of glamour, ambition, and hard work. Tiffany Trump lives a life of privilege many dream of, as seen on her Instagram where she has over a million followers. Her circle of elite friends includes Kyra Kennedy, grandniece of President John F. Kennedy, Gaia Matisse, great-granddaughter of artist Henri Matisse, E.J. Johnson, son of Magic Johnson, Andrew Warren, fashion heir, and Rhea Benitez, daughter of music producer John Jellybean Benitez. Known as the Real Rich Kids, they frequent fashion and art events, shop via helicopter, party on yachts, and vacation at luxury resorts. Despite her glamorous social life, Tiffany isn't your typical party girl. She avoids hard liquor, keeps a disciplined schedule, and prioritizes her studies. Whether taking yacht trips to Italy, wintering in Budapest, summering in Southampton, or visiting the Bahamas, Tiffany always stays focused on her goals. Academics have always been a cornerstone of Tiffany's life. She graduated from the University of Pennsylvania in 2016 with dual degrees in sociology and urban studies, following in the footsteps of her father Donald Jr. and Ivanka. Known for earning top grades, she impressed her father, who frequently praised her achievements. Instead of joining the family business, Tiffany pursued law, enrolling at Georgetown in 2017. Her close friend Laura Maggs described the decision as perfect, calling Tiffany a natural at proving herself through hard work. Even during her father's presidency, Tiffany kept a low profile at school. A former classmate described her as understated, with the only giveaway being the black SUVs and Secret Service agents stationed nearby. In 2020, Tiffany earned her law degree, making her father proud. Great student, great school, every family needs a lawyer. Proud of you, Tiff, Donald Trump said, inviting her to the White House to celebrate. Her mother, Marla Maples, also shared her pride, revealing how Tiffany often stayed up for days studying. She worked so hard, and I'm so grateful, Marla said. Tiffany's interests extend beyond academics. At 17, she released a single, Like a Bird, showcasing her creative side. She also interned at Vogue, thanks to Ivanka, dining with Anna Wintour, and attending global fashion shows. During summers, she took on internships in media, gaining practical experience. Tiffany doesn't pretend life is easy, Ivanka once said. She works hard for everything she's achieved, and she's proud of it. A love story, bridging legacy and luxury. Tiffany Trump found her match in Michael Bulos, a man whose background seamlessly complements her own. Born in 1997, Michael grew up in Lagos, Nigeria, in a wealthy Lebanese business family with deep ties to Africa. His mother, Sara Bulos, founded Nigeria's Society for the Performing Arts, while his father, Masad Bulos, runs Bulos Enterprises and SCOA Nigeria, multi-billion dollar companies operating across the continent. Dubbed a billionaire heir, Michael's personal net worth reportedly exceeds $20 million by age 25. Michael's family story is one of entrepreneurial grit. His grandfather emigrated from Lebanon to Nigeria in 1936, starting a jewelry shop for middle-class customers. By the 1950s, the family expanded into vehicle distribution, eventually assembling motorcycles and motorized vehicles in Nigeria. Today, their business spans at least 10 African nations. Michael's education matches his ambitious background. 
He attended the American International School in Lagos, earned a business degree from Regents University London, and later completed a master's at the University of London. During his time in London, Michael lived in a $1.2 million apartment near Regents Park, a hotspot for affluent international students. Professionally, Michael has taken on leadership roles, including Deputy Director at SCOA Nigeria, Director at Fadul Group, and Global Business Director for Royalton Investment, specializing in luxury real estate. He also holds an executive role at Canada-based Kalian Group. Tiffany and Michael first crossed paths in the summer of 2018 on the picturesque island of Mykonos, Greece. Their connection quickly deepened, and by Thanksgiving that year, Michael met the Trump family at Mar-a-Lago. In 2019, Tiffany made their relationship Instagram official with a photo from the White House, and Michael seamlessly became part of her inner circle, frequently appearing with her siblings and mother at high-profile events. In January 2021, Michael proposed in the White House Rose Garden with a stunning 13-carat emerald-cut diamond ring valued at $1.2 million. Tiffany shared the moment on Instagram, writing, It's been an honor to celebrate milestones at the White House, especially my engagement to my amazing fiancé, Michael. Here's to our next chapter together. The couple tied the knot on November 12, 2022, in a dreamy outdoor ceremony at Mar-a-Lago. The wedding featured pastel hues of pink, blue, and white, with floral arches creating a romantic, magical setting. Tiffany stole the show in a custom Ellie Saab gown with a ballet-inspired neckline, long sleeves, and a crystal-adorned skirt, perfectly embodying timeless elegance. Her father, Donald Trump, proudly walked her down the aisle in a moment that epitomized the day's splendor. Two years later, Tiffany and Michael are preparing to welcome their first child. Former President Trump announced the news during an October 2024 speech, saying, he happens to be the father of Tiffany's husband, Michael, who's a very exceptional young guy, and she's an exceptional young woman, so, and she's gonna have a baby, so that's nice. Even before their wedding, Tiffany and Michael were house hunting for a waterfront estate in Miami, an area known for its ultra-luxury real estate. With their shared commitment to family, business, and a life of unstated elegance, the couple is poised to build a legacy that blends their influential backgrounds and bright future as they prepare to welcome their newest addition. Celebration Father's Presidential Victory On the night of his historic win, President-elect Donald Trump was surrounded by his family's support, including his youngest daughter, Tiffany. She took to X to share a celebratory photo featuring her father, other family members, Elon Musk, and Musk's son. Dad, we're so proud of you, Tiffany captioned the post, capturing the joy of the moment. Despite being visibly pregnant, Tiffany joined her stepmother, Melania, and the rest of the family on stage as her father declared victory early on November 6. During his speech, Trump thanked his wife and turned to his family with heartfelt words. Like her siblings, Tiffany has forged her own path, building an impressive career while staying grounded. Her achievements have made her father proud, and now, she's giving him even more reason to celebrate as she prepares to welcome her first child. President Trump is undoubtedly looking forward to this new chapter, eagerly awaiting the arrival of his grandchild. What are your thoughts on Tiffany's inspiring journey and the Trump family's latest milestone? Let us know and stay tuned for more from the Billionaire Dynasty.